Hi, my name is Mary Ann Donahue, and I'm the Executive Director of Global Gardens. I'm here at Eugene Field Elementary School, our first garden site. Spring is such a beautiful time to be in the gardens, and usually during these months, we are hosting community tours. Because we can't do that this year, we decided to create some virtual mini tours to share with you. Global Gardens was created 13 years ago by a teacher from Tulsa named Heather Oakley. Heather studied urban science education and peace education at Columbia University, and she also taught science at a school in Harlem. These experiences inspired her to create a garden-based educational program that would engage all students, regardless of circumstances, by giving them a voice in what they were learning and opportunities to make a real impact in their community. In 2007, Heather returned to Tulsa to try out her idea here at Eugene Field. She started with 20 students, and together they dreamed up and created this garden space in what had previously been an empty lot. 13 years later, we have grown so much, but we are also still here at Eugene Field and still using the garden as a vehicle for teaching so many important life lessons. We use it to teach the basics of science and healthy eating, to teach goal setting and teamwork, and to help our students develop the confidence, self-awareness, and problem-solving skills that they will need to make positive changes in their own lives and in the world around them. The result of this work is that we make a long-term impact on our students, especially in the areas of learning motivation and their relationship with their community and also their nutritional health. This is the first of three mini tours that will dive deeper into these three areas of our impact. In this first tour, you will hear from Program Director Simon Hajar about our approach to learning. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Simon, one of the Program Directors here at Global Gardens. One of the most common misconceptions about Global Gardens is that we're just a gardening program. And although we certainly have plenty of healthy fruits and veggies growing out in our gardens, our program centers first and foremost on teaching science and peace education. For us, the garden is a vehicle for empowering students to become active learners in the classroom and in their own personal lives. The same skills you need to be a successful gardener are also life skills. Think about it. A good gardener needs to be responsible and a hard worker. They need to know how to set goals and how to solve problems. And if you're going to share a gardening space with 19 of your peers, you're going to need to learn teamwork and conflict resolution skills as well. During our annual assessments, 98% of classroom teachers have said that Global Gardens is supporting their students' curiosity and motivation for learning. Last year in our after-school program, 96% of students reported significant gains in their science interest. We are seeing measurable results. But why? Well, for one, we connect students' learning to their lives. We teach kids that a scientist is someone who asks good questions. And our gardens are the perfect place for endless inquiry. How do I grow a radish? What's wrong with my potato? I wonder who else grows this kind of food? What kind of things do we have in common with them? What do I do with my frustration? Needless to say, every one of our students leaves our program seeing themselves as a scientist. We know that deep learning occurs when students feel emotionally safe and genuinely listened to. And creating a space where students can feel this way is central to the peace education side of our philosophy. One way we achieve this is by inviting students to collaborate with us on creating almost every aspect of our programming. We found that by making room for student voice, we also make room for student growth. One of the ways we ensure student voice on a daily basis is through Community Circle. During this simple yet impactful activity, students have the opportunity to breathe in good things about their day or breathe out things that might be hard. Students take turns leading this activity, but every student has the opportunity to participate. There are so many other tangible tools and strategies like Community Circle that students will get during their time at Global Gardens. 
So we're learning way more than just how to plant seeds and prepare fresh veggies. We're using student-led inquiry and peace education to increase students' motivation for learning, their curiosity, their science interest in problem-solving skills. Our students are growing out here, just like their plants, and we need your help to sustain the important work we're doing in our community.